universitas Respectable, our main speakers in this talk show. Honorable, Head of Chemistry Department, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science, Universitas Negeri Padang. Head of Chemistry Education Study Program, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science, Universitas Negeri Padang. Head of Chemistry Study Program, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science, Universitas Negeri Padang. Chief Executive of Southeast Asia University Collaboration, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris, and Universitas Negeri Padang, from Chemistry Department, Universitas Negeri Padang. Lecturers of Chemistry Department, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science, Universitas Negeri Padang. Program Advisor, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. Program Director, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris, Ad Cipher of University Pendidikan Sultan Idris, Head of Chemistry Department Student Association, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science, Universitas Negeri Padang, Student Executive Board, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science, Universitas Negeri Padang, Environmental Student Organization, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science, Universitas Negeri Padang, and all participants in the Southeast Asia University Collaboration, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris, and Universitas Negeri Padang. Starting the event, Tari Pasambahan.
for our successful program. Let's pray to the God that will be led by Associate Muhammad Rayhan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, let us bow our head for a moment. Pray to God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our international to self, can be precious to all of us. I will it to pray based on the teaching of Islam and those who are not Muslim. You are pleased to pray according to age of your belief. A'udhu billahi min shaitani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa al-aqibatu lil mutaqin wa salatu wa salamu ala asrafil hanbiya wa mursalim wa ala alihi wa sabihi rasulillahi ya jama'in. Ya arhamar rahimin, ya arhamar rahimin, ya arhamar rahimin. Irhamna fa'inaka khairul rahimin wa tubu alana ya Allah inaka anta tawab rahim. Allahumma fir lana zunubana wa li wildayna wa rahmuhu maqamara wa bawna sigara wa li jamil muslimina wa li muslimat wa li mu'minina wa li mu'minat Allah ya imil wa nabi rahmatika ya arhamar rahmin Allahumma inni a'udhu bika minal barasi wa li junuhi wa li yusami insaiti asfal Allahumma inni a'udhu bika minal barasi wa li junuhi wa li yusami insaiti asfal ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وزرياتنا قراءة آياتنا وجعلنا متقين إماما. Oh Allah, oh Allah today in this beautiful place we gather here to bring about South Asia University collaboration of the UNP. The time is entrepreneurship opportunities during pandemic. Make this internet. Make this international to serve as a useful science assembly, as a medium of sharing useful ID, knowledge, and experiences of scholar, research, and student of various disciplines. May the to serve of organist today be next to our life, broaden our knowledge, so sign our ID, and lead us to be successful, productive person, win in turn will put dignity of our nation. O Allah Buddha, O Allah Buddha, and bless our heart and our mind with the light of your guidance. Imparting you in supreme wisdom upon our activities. Help us to speak our means clearly. Help us to listen to each other, respect each other, love each other, so that we are included to the bliss person. O O oh Allah, O oh Allah, protect us from it. United temptation, so us the right friend and give us knowledge and strength to perform good things. Equally so us and make in declare the bad things and give us knowledge and strength to avoid them. O oh Allah, you are the one. O oh Allah, you are the one who can fulfill our du'a. Rabbana atina fit dunia sana, wa fil akhirati sana, wa kinna azaban nar. Subhanahu rakob, abil jati amai sifun, wa salamun ala mursalim, wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Attention to the audience, please turn on the camera. Singing the national anthem of Indonesia Raya, Negaraku, Ibu Kandung Sulu Budiman, and Mars Universitas Negeri Padang. Indonesia Raya.
negaraku. Ibu kandung Sulu Budiman. Mars Universitas Negeri Padang. Universitas Negeri Padang Wadah pendidik dan pembina tunas bangsa Menuju masa gelap gelilang Menjadi harapan di masa datang Universitas Negeri Padang Namamu ku junjung tinggi dan ku agungkan Universitas Negeri Padang Jaya selamanya Selamanya Let's listen to the speech by Chief Executive Associate Dr. Riga Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Honorable Associate Professor Dr. Irwan, Vice Dean of Student Affairs Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, Universitas Negeri Padang. Honorable 
Dr. Yusnita Binti Johair, Head of Chemistry Department, Faculty of Science and Mathematics, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. Honorable Tri Amelia, PhD, Head of Chemistry Department, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, Universitas Negeri Padang. Honorable Dr. Muhammad Ibrahim bin Damahuri and Dr. Nurul Saida binti Abdul Rahman, Advisor of Science Student Association, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. Excellencies, the speakers, the first one, Dr. Nadratun Nafisa binti Abdul Wahab from University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. And the second one, Dr. Rahadian Zainul from Universitas Negeri Padang. Honorable all lecturers of chemistry department from both universities. Honorable Hairun Nurul Husna and Abrar Surya Di Putra, the program director of South East Asian University Collaboration, UPC UNP 2021. And specially all committee students of Tokyo UPSI UNP 2021 and all participants of this event from both universities. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank good to Allah who, ha who has been giving us blessing and mercies so we can attend this talk show in a good condition. Salawat and greetings to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who has given us in the page of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. We are delighted to have this opportunity to welcome you in the talk show series UNP and UPSI 2021. The background of this event is the exchange students between the both university, UPSI and UNP last year. Based on this program, we have idea about the event between the student association of the both universities. And the event is called as the South East Asia University Collaboration UPSI UNP 2021 that implemented as one form for intimacy between UNP and UPSI students by exchanging information about universities from their respective countries. In general, the purpose of this, of this event is to increase cooperation and interaction between students of both universities. The lecturers of both universities are only designed of this event, but of course the contribution, the dedication and the work of all committee students by the UPSI and UMP make this event successful. Once more, congratulations and success to the all student committee who have tried their best in this event. Finally, we respectfully request to Associate Professor Dr. Iwan Irwan to open the first step of series UPSI UNP 2021. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Associate Dr. Riga. Speech and opening of Southeast Asia University Collaboration, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris, and Universitas Negeri Padang by Vice Dean for Student Affairs, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science, Universitas Negeri Padang, Associate Professor Dr. Irwan. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alamin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 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 Assalamualaikum yang saya hormati pimpinan-pimpinan dari eh, Universitas Pendidikan Sultan Idris Malaysia eh, yang eh, bergabung pada kesempatan ini 
Selanjutnya, pimpinan-pimpinan dari Fakultas eh, MIPA, Fakultas MIPA, Universitas Negeri Padang yang bergabung pada pagi ini. Selanjutnya, eh, mahasiswa dari kedua universitas yang sudah bergabung. Saya ada tiga Zoom nih sedang aktif. Jadi makanya saya matikan satu. Kita bersyukur kepada Allah SWT. Kita ada kesempatnya, kita dapat berkumpul melalui virtual meeting ini dalam rangka aktualisasi kerjasama antara Universitas Negeri Padang, UNP, dan UPSI. Dan pendidikan Sultan Idris. Salawat dan salam, terlupa juga kita panjatkan pada junjungan kita Nabi Besar Muhammad SAW. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Bapak-bapak, ibu-ibu, saudara-saudara mahasiswa semua, saya sangat senang sekali dan bangga uh, pada kegiatan yang telah digagas ini dan laksana pada hari ini. Ini adalah satu momen yang sangat penting bagi uh, kemajuan kedua universitas. Kita nanti bisa saling membagi informasi, membagi pengalaman, saling bekerja sama dalam hal banyak kegiatan-kegiatan kemahasiswaan. Yang juga kegiatan-kegiatan dosen yang dalam rangka pembimbingan mahasiswa. Itu semuanya nanti akan menambah apa, kredibilitas atau dan mutu dari masing-masing perguruan tinggi. Saya uh, bersyukur. Kimia sudah mulai, jurusan kimia Universitas Negeri Padang sudah mulai menggagas ini dan melaksanakannya. Mudah-mudahan nanti ini dapat berkembang terus dan tidak hanya berhenti pada kegiatan ini saja, juga dapat dikembangkan. Bisa jadi nanti kalau seandainya pandemi ini sudah berakhir, kita nampak akan dapat persukaran atau saling mengunjungi kampus masing-masing, saling bekerjasama di situ, di labor, di labor kimia UPSI dan di juga di labor kimia UNP. Itu sangat baik, bagus sekali. Melaksanakan penelitian-penelitian yang menyangkut apa, perkembangan-perkembangan ilmu ketahuan yang saat ini sedang berkembang. Selanjutnya, saya ingin menyampaikan permohonan maaf dari Bapak Dekan Ismipa karena ada pekerjaan lain yang sedang juga beliau buka. Jadi kami berbagi, berbagi tugas ini. Dan saya ditugaskan untuk membuka kegiatan kimia ini. Pada mahasiswa, saya berharap dapat menggali segala informasi, pengetahuan, dan dalam rangka mengembangkan bakat yang ada pada masing-masing. Galilah ini manfaatkan kegiatan ini sebaik-baiknya dalam rangka nanti banyak sekali nanti yang bisa dilahir dari kegiatan ini seperti juga yang berkembang sekarang ini di Indonesia ada program kreativitas mahasiswa yang ya, tahun ini Universitas Negeri Padang mendapat pendanaan 26 proposal dari negara, walaupun hasilnya belum begitu menyeberakan. Mudah-mudahan kegiatan ini menjadi cambuk bagi mahasiswa jurusan kimia dalam rangka melahirkan proposal-proposal program kreativitas mahasiswa tahun ke depan. Rasanya itu saja yang dapat saya sampaikan sebagai pembukaan pada kegiatan ini. Terima kasih pada seluruh Panitia yang sudah mengangkat, terima kasih juga kepada pimpinan-pimpinan uh, jurusan kimia UPSI dan jurusan kimia dari UNP. Uh, semoga Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala memberkati kita semua dengan izin kita bersama dengan ucapan Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kegiatan ini saya resmi saya buka. Demikian saja, mohon maaf atas segala kekilafan. Wabillahi taufik walidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you to Associate Professor Dr. Inwar for the speech.
video screening of Universitas Negeri Padang and University Pendidikan Sultan Idris Chemistry Department Profile. West Sumatra is a province with Padang as the capital city. West Sumatra lies in the middle of the western coast of Sumatra, including plains, mountainous volcanic highlands formed by the Badisan mountain range that runs from northwest to southeast, and an offshore island archipelago called Dimantawai Islands. West Sumatra is known by the name Bumi Minangkabau or Land of Minangkabau as it is the home and origin of the Minangkabau people. West Sumatra have many things that are no less unique and interesting, such as Rumah Gadang, Jam Gadang, Silat, Randai, Piring Dance, Padang Cuisine, and many authentic tourist attractions. Universitas Negeri Padang is a public university in Padang, West Sumatra, Indonesia, which was established in 1954. Universitas Negeri Padang has a vision to become a leading and dignified university in Asia and has motto, Alam Takambang Jadi Guru or Learn From Nature. The motto means that the scholars of Universitas Negeri Padang are always responsive and proactive to the environment. And realizing this, Universitas Negeri Padang facilitates students with various study programs which are divided into eight faculties. Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science Universitas Negeri Padang consists of six departments, namely Mathematics, Biology, Physics, Chemistry, Science Education, and Statistics, which has a vision toward one of the outstanding and dignified faculties in Asia. Department of Chemistry has for the vision and mission of Chemistry Department Universitas Negeri Padang are I am Fitri Amelia, Chairman of Chemistry Department. Chemistry Department has two study programs, Chemistry Education Study Program and Chemistry Study Program. We have six group expertise, Organic Chemistry, Inorganic Chemistry, Analytical Chemistry, Physical Chemistry, Biochemistry, and Education. We are proud to announce that our Chemistry Education Study Program has been certified by AUNKA. While Chemistry Study Program achieved the best second rank study program in our university. This achievement are due to the good academic environments in line with the active research conducted by the academic staff involving all the students. We also have research collaboration with several Indonesian universities such as Universitas Indonesia, Universitas Andalas, Institut Teknologi Bandung, Universitas Mercubana, and others. And we have research collaboration with several international universities such as Gifu University in Japan, UPM, UTM, UPSI, and UKM in Malaysia. We hope that we can also collaborate with other universities in the future. Meanwhile, we provide student exchange program to several universities, such as Gifu University, UPSI, and UPM. Hello, I'm Fabian 
Zanya Pupi. I'm so proud to be chemistry education study program students in this university. I can learn chemistry so well because we have formidable lecturers, great facilities, and good laboratory. We have many instruments so we can do the experiment so well. So, this time for you to feel how I feel. Come join us in the chemistry department of Universitas Negeri Padang. Department of Chemistry is not only providing excellent academic for students, but also give them a chance to develop their hard skills and soft skills by several students. Organizations inside and outside the chemistry department. There are so many events that freely to join, such as PIK, Catalyst, Inauguration, etc. Another student's organizations are also available to join such as PPIPM, UKO, UKFF, UKK, etc. Finally, I'm proud to say we are waiting for your joining in the chemistry department and believe your future with us. The Faculty of Science and Mathematics, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris, is located in Campus Sultan Azlan Shah, about 8 kilometers from the main campus, Sultan Abdul Jalil Campus in Potong City. The campus has a very beautiful fresh greenery background of the Titiwangsa mountain range, which is very captivating. The Faculty of Science and Mathematics, which was previously known as the Faculty of Science and Technology, was established on the 1st of May 1997 and was given a more focused perspective on the 1st of June 2010. The beauty and serenity of this natural surrounding will provide a perfect and conducive environment for the students' learning process. The programs offered in the Faculty of Science and Mathematics are tailored to meet the needs of future education, research and innovation in the area of science and mathematics, nationally and globally. Besides, the existing programs will hopefully contribute to the development and nurturing creative and innovative minds of the young generations for the future needs. The main goal of the programs offered is to enhance and strengthen the technological, pedagogical content, knowledge and skills of the graduates in the field of science and mathematics education in schools, colleges and universities. FSM is equipped with various facilities including latest equipments and technology in the laboratories to cater to the future needs in teaching and doing research in science and mathematics with professional and skilled academics and technical staffs.
FSM has a high profile of academicians with great experience in their research. Besides national level, they also receive recognition and awards internationally. On the world map, FSM actively collaborates with various government institutions and corporate sectors locally and internationally, such as Universitas Mohamadiya Purwokerto, Indonesia, Lithuanian Company on Solar Project, Al Hilmi Agrofarm Sindiran Berhad, Hijra Water Sindiran Berhad, Majlis Amana Rakyat, Pusat Rawatan Islam Az Zahra, Tesco Malaysia and Malaysian Timber Industrial Board, SW Corp on Solid Waste Management, Lincoln University, United Kingdom. Attention for all participants to fill in attendance at the end of the talk session, which will be shared in the chat room. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the opening ceremony today. We are very happy that you have a chance to attend this opening ceremony. Next, we ask the attention to all audience to activate the camera because we will take some picture for documentation. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn on your camera. Okay, I will guide you in one, two, and three. Okay, next slide. One, two, and three. Please keep smile. One more slide. 
one, two, and three. Okay, thank you for your attention. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue to the core session, the presentation by our honorable keynote speakers, we would like to introduce our moderator today, Mrs. Anissa Hairani Putri. So I'm Siti Sarah, as Master of Ceremony, would like to say goodbye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you to our MC. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning to all participants. Thank you for finding time and visiting today's talk session. My name is Anissa Khairani Putri from UNP. We'll be your moderator for this session. Before we start, let me explain how you can talk to us during the webinar. If you have any questions during the discussion, you can type on the chat box. We will have short breaks after the discussion and a Q&A session at the end to answer your question. Before we continue with the talk session, I would like to share with our amazing audience today about the aim of our talk session. Today is the first lot of Southeast Asia University collaboration, UPSI, and UNP with our first theme, which is entrepreneurship. In this slide, we will dive deeper about the entrepreneurship opportunities provided during COVID-19 pandemic. Before we start, let me share a little bit about our amazing panelists today. From UPSI, we have Dr. Nadratun Nafisa Binti Abdul Wahab a senior lecturer from the Department of Business Management and Entrepreneurship, Faculty of Management Economics, University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. Dr. Nadra Tun attended University Utara Malaysia, or UUM, to complete a master's degree in technopreneurship and, and doctor of philosophy in the field of Islamic entrepreneurship. Dr. Nadratun has been recognized as a certified trainer, social entrepreneurship, and social innovation. She also won a silver award in the National Innovation Invention Competition in 2021. Next, we also have from UNP, we have Dr. Rahadian Zaino, a senior lecturer of chemistry in the Department of Chemistry Faculty Mathematics and Natural Sciences, Universitas Negeri Padang. Dr. Rahadian writes many popular articles at newspaper and also writes scientific report and scientific journal in many international journals. Now, he also as a head of innovation center at LP2M UNP. I remain for you to prepare your notebook and also your water. So if you are so thirsty while, this, while the discussion happens, you can drink and be, and be focused. Okay. Moving along to our discussion, please welcome to Dr. Nadratun Nafisah Binti Abdul Wahab. Let's start the video. The questions for Dr. Nadratun are, first, what's the choice that we have to involve in entrepreneurship during pandemic COVID-19? So for this sharing, uh, we, will, we will be going over the best online business and entrepreneurial opportunities. Okay, one of the fastest growing business choices using the pandemic is online work. It is likely to continue in high demand even when the crisis revolves and the economy returns to normal. It, it is believed that the world after the coronavirus will 
almost likely be significant different because many businesses will have evolved and will be far more willing to work with freelancers and online business. What are the opportunities that we can grab to involve in entrepreneurs at this time? So we are talking about what are the opportunities during pandemic. So it's time for online companies to offer freelancing. Despite the fact that they both, the company itself and the freelancer provide freelance services. So there are some key differences between a firm that uses freelance labor and one that sells services. Through a company may begin with a single person performing both work and administer, administering the company. As the company expands, this will typically shift. Many firms that provide online services use numerous freelancers to deliver high quality services to their customers. They match the client with the freelancer and then pay the freelancer when the product or service is delivered. So as we all know, COVID-19 is caused by the current coronavirus, which affects the respiratory system, resulting in symptoms such as fever, cough, shortness of breath and breathing issues okay so uh, the recommendation to avoid infection is one of the reasons of social distance which is the key source of various difficulties in current global economy then talking about the freelancer what is the example of freelancer that we can use in this time Therefore, these are the examples of freelancing opportunities for publishing business you can do. Okay, first are uh, blogging services, self-publish a book on Amazon, copywriting, technical writing, resume and cover letter. And for marketing business, you can do affiliate marketing, SEO, and Facebook advertising. And okay, for sales companies, you can do set up e-commerce site, sell product on eBay, buy and flip domains, create online courses, coaching, start a podcast, and become a YouTuber. Okay, on this current situation, all of us in Malaysia especially work from home. So, what are the strategies that we can apply for as a work from home workers? And also you can do internal services like bookkeeper, accountant, engineer, project manager, interim part-time manager, and recruiter. You also can do advisory and education, edu uh, such as education consultant, business development manager, and data analyst. And also, you can involve with high demand services such as writer, editor, designer, web developer, and programmer. Okay, in sales and marketing, you can do customer service representative, sales representative, account manager, account executive, territory sales manager. While in healthcare, you can be medical coder, nurse, case manager. So you have to have a place to work, right? So how about just uh, work from home? So these are the tips for working from home. Okay, number one, set regular work hours, even if that means at night. Get started early 
in the morning and then third dedicate a space as your office and then number four treat your office as it was a real office number five structure your day just like you would at the office and number six make it difficult to mess around on social media then you have to create boundaries work when you're most productive take clear breaks set a time for your work day to end commit to doing more make calls when you're alert and ready to interact socially okay furthermore you have to focus on one task at a time plan your week ahead of time plan tomorrow today use technology to stay for connected use music or other background noises to keep you motivated while working and prepare your work meals in advance okay you have to over communicate with colleagues and clients take sick days show up to meetings and be heard okay done with strategies of work from home right now we move to how to get set up as a freelancer so how to get set up as a freelancer first step you have to define your goals means uh, you have to define your measurable goals clearly and step two research the industry so you have to do a little research in the area of uh, freelancing in which you're hoping to work who are your customers and competitors what can you offer to your clients that the comp competition can and then is there something different that you do in that niche that your client will appreciate try to find how are they different from how you are different from your majority are you faster are you lower in cost or unique in anything you provide and third you establish your business entity so you have to register your company and then uh, number four you have to identify your clients okay so so you have to really be effective as a freelancer you will you will have to identify your target client and number five you have to set strategic prices there are a number of helpful website there are a number of helpful websites out there that can assist you when trying to decide how much you want to charge okay for number six uh, set up a website then you create your own website you just uh, create your website just for that client so you can effectively explain the services you're providing okay number seven take care of your business okay so step number eight you have to set up profiles on freelance job sites okay there are numbers of freelance websites such as upwork freelancer.com so you can create a profile that caters to the client you're looking to find and then number nine marketing even before officially launch your freelance business you have to make sure you have laid the groundwork for marketing your work and then step 10 plan your launch so you have to uh, make sure you want to start with a bang okay so you want uh, everybody to speak and you want to create a buzz around the launch of your new freelancing career so you can start with uh, for example facebook live video create flyers use a direct email campaign or offer some promotion on your opening day for example lah. and you can also 
uh, offer discounts for something like uh, okay for for two two free blocks post if you buy ten. Uh, so this is for your main uh, geeks which uh, they do writing blog posts. Okay. Oh, in everything that we do, it must have a hidden or unsuspected danger or in other words we call it as pitfall that will happen so how can we avoid that okay so the pitfalls to avoid first thinking like em em employee so limiting your hours while waiting for freelancing employment is one of the biggest blunders you can make you'll be in charge of marketing yourself Keeping your abilities to up-to-date negotiating and tra tracking fees for your services and prioritizing tasks to meet de deadlines to keep your firm function well will have to work long hours on a regular basis. Nonetheless, if you put in the hours, you'll quickly find that you have consistent employment and repeat clients which will relieve a lot of stress okay so you may be used to just following orders in your typical work but you are no longer an employee you are a consultant partner and train expert that at what you do <clears throat> and then a scattershot approach to seeking client and taking every job so easy it's especially at first to accept every project that comes your way but this is a mistake you should also make a method out of how you locate clients you'd begin by defining your ideal customer putting together your portfolio and website and then targeting just those clients for whom you know you can go you can do high quality work while internet job boards might help you get started the greatest way to acquire clients are through referral words of mouth advertising and your personal and professional networks and also don't taking low pay for a number of reasons it's easy to slip into the trap okay bad communication you should never take anything for granted when you're dealing with a customer you need to be able to communicate clearly so you know exactly what they want that will work in your favor because you don't want to develop anything people don't like because that will just result in negative feedback Early, clear and frequent communication with your client is essential. Respond quickly to any queries or messages they send and make sure they know how to reach you when you can be contacted from the start. So the ideal practice is to keep track on every of everything that was agreed upon as well as the foundation for a for an outcomes of each conversation misunderstandings are common and you should be aware of them and then okay failure to recommend another project for the loss of client relationship so your present your present or previous client are excellence potential future client as a result when the current project comes to an end if it is acceptable recommend a new project if a new project isn't now possible stay in touch with that customer so you're the first person they think of when a new potential project arise so what to avoid next okay so miss deadlines this blunder can swiftly ruin your freelancing career make sure to fulfill your deadlines if you want those outstanding evaluations and word of mouth advertising 
that will bring you additional business. Getting upset with a client. Okay, you don't get upset with client because some client might be aggra aggravating, but you should never become angry with them. So blow off your steam somewhere else. Talk to, to someone or simply step away from the internet or phone until you feel better. So don't putting all your eggs in one basket. You don't want to have just one or two clients since there's always the risk that <clears throat> a customer won't pay you for an ongoing project or that you'll be lose a client due to circumstances beyond your control. So, and also don't taking on too many projects at once is the popular opposite of the previous principle. You require more than one or two resources of revenue, yet taking on too many jobs may degrade the quality of your work. The next question before we go to the next slot is how can we set up the online enterprise? So the step for online enterprise, so how uh, you are getting set up uh, business. First, do research and second, identify your audience and your competition. Number three, write a business plan. Number four, name, domain, and website. Number five, finances. You plan your finances. Okay, next, uh, step six, sign up for an email delivery service. Step seven, marketing your business. Step eight, network. Step nine, plan your launch. Step 10, don't stop growing and improving. And also, um, we live in unpredictable times, but there are still ways to have greater control over your finances. So take some time to examine if online or remote employment is suitable for you. And there are options available regardless of your degree of expertise or technological knowledge. You may do freelance work or start your own internet business and then decide whether you want to continue with that lifestyle after the pandemic. Okay, so this is the reference. Okay, we come to an end. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you to Dr. Nadratun for the very beautiful sharing. Okay, everyone. Don't forget, if you have any question, you can text on the chat box and then the, your question will be answered on the Q&A session. Okay, everyone, let me conclude a little bit the overall of the topic that has been shared by Dr. Nadratun. So basically, there will be no other reason for us to stop or didn't involve in entrepreneurship, right? Even in Malaysia, all of Malaysian will stay at home and work from home. It still have the strategies to come out by with the very best solution. Dr. Nadratun also shared to all of us a few techniques and how to be a freelancer and how to set up the online business. Besides most important thing is there will be a pitfall that we need to avoid. So what are we waiting for? Let's apply it. Let's be a businessman or let's be a businesswoman. Okay, for those who have questions, I remind again, please type on the chat box. Yeah. Okay, now let's continue to our panel from UMT. Please welcome to Dr. Rahadian Zainal. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 
Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you uh, this morning? Fine, uh, everybody. Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Okay, uh, sir. Uh, can we start the discussion today, right? Yes, uh, but I want to see you my slide, maybe. Okay, sure. Uh, can you see? Okay, can you see all of me? Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, first of all, I'd like to express my special thanks to uh, Chairman of Chemistry Department, Dr. Fitri Amelia, and Vice Dean too, and uh, Chairman of Chemistry uh, Department for University Pendidikan Sultan Idris, and all of the participants, uh, my student too, and this moment, I want to uh, give uh, my experience about uh, how to be entrepreneurs. Maybe like that, and I think it's uh, comfortable with entrepreneurship opportunities during pandemic. Well, uh, uh, how to be. I'm sorry. How to be? How to become personal excellent uh, in Indonesian? Bagaimana kita menjadi pribadi yang unggul? Uh, how to synergy, hard skill and soft skill like that? Maybe that my point. Uh, point penting yang ingin uh, saya bagi buat kita semua. Uh, to be good people. To be uh, success. Man, success people. Uh, I see my experience uh, from uh, four steps. Yes, the first we must uh, uh, have a mindset of entrepreneurs must go for what. Pola pikir seorang entrepreneur harus maju. We see in the front not see back uh, also yes we we ever file walaupun kita pernah gagal but we itu tidak boleh membuat kita menjadi mundur we must not uh, down or give up uh, the second don't be complacent and optimistic leave doubt jangan cepat merasa puas Optimis dan tinggalkan keraguan. This the second point in my experience. And the third, we must be good to seeing opportunities. Pandai melihat peluang. In this pandemic, this is, this is the many chance. Banyak kesempatan to get money, to get uh, opportunity to make uh, something different. And the, the last, the fourth, uh, of course, we 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 get uh, venture capital or modal usaha. We need that, of course. But don't think about uh, if you don't have money, we don't get uh, effort. We don't have business. Don't think like that. We get it by idea. If you if you have good idea, you can offer to the the people who have get money and you can run your business. Jadi walaupun kita tidak punya uang saat ini, tapi kalau kita punya ide dan gagasan dan itu adalah hal yang menarik, kita akan bisa bertarung di pentas yang akan datang. So we must know what is entrepreneur. Seorang wirausaha adalah orang yang bersedia mampu mengembangkan ide dan penemuan baru menjadi sukses inovasi. An entrepreneur is a person who is willing and able to develop new ideas or invention into successful innovation. So, uh, kalau kita ingin sukses di masa yang akan datang, yang paling kunci itu adalah kreativitas kita. Mampu kita mengubah something uh, information from information to be transformation and transaction. 
dari informasi bisa menjadi transformasi, dari transformasi bisa menghasilkan transaksi. Jadi kita juga bisa menghasilkan ide-ide yang bisa menghasilkan income generating. Sekaligus menciptakan produk dan mode bisnis baru yang memberi sumbangan atas pertumbuhan dinamis industri ekonomi dan jangka panjang. This is uh, Joseph uh, Scam Peter. Yes, while creating new products and business model that contribute to the long-term growth of industrial and economic dynamism. dynamism. This uh, key of our mind, if we want to be innovator, if we want to be inventor, and if we want to be in entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Jadi ini kunci kalau kita ingin mau menjadi entrepreneur untuk masa yang akan datang. Dan ini adalah sesuatu yang dinamis. Sesuatu yang dinamis itu maybe uh, today you are a student, today you are young people, young business, you are uh, pemula, tapi kita tidak tahu. Maybe tomorrow to you are the the rich man, you are the great people. Besok bisa aja kita langsung tiba-tiba menjadi orang yang luar biasa. Karena di dalam dunia uh, yang penuh dengan uh, perubahan dinamis perubahan itu bisa aja terjadi. Ini namanya inter apa namanya? Uh, uh, apa nah, disruptive era. Jadi disruptive era itu artinya sesuatu bisa berubah dengan cepat. Apa yang hari ini terjadi uh, adalah yang menjadi tren besok maybe akan menjadi uh, kuno apa yang hari ini orang tidak perhitungkan tapi besok tiba-tiba aja berubah. Uh, second by second Second, not by by not by years. Jadi perubahan tidak lagi berdasarkan waktu, tahun, tidak lagi berdasarkan hari, tetapi perubahan itu terjadi per detik. Gitu. Uh, what the entrepreneurship? Uh, uh, I mean, okay, uh, prinsip, ya, yeah. principle of entrepreneur. Uh, the first creativity, ability to develop new ideas and ways in solving problems and finding opportunities, thinking a new thing. If you cannot do that, you, you cannot. Uh, yes, maybe. Okay. Uh, the second, innovation. Yes, creativity, innovation. Innovation. What is innovation? Ability to apply creativity in order to solve problems and find opportunities, doing new things. So these uh, two principles in our uh, life to become entrepreneurs. Uh, we have a, a principle with creativity and innovation. So what is creativity? Creativity is uh, have time to think, get used to discussing often, keep learning, have a dream, and try yourself to think differently out of the box. Ya, kita harus punya waktu untuk berpikir, biasakan sering berdiskusi, terus belajar, memiliki mimpi, melatih diri untuk berpikir untuk yang berbeda. Jadi ini semua harus kita lakukan if you are to be uh, manusia yang kreatif. Okay. So, innovation. Innovation adalah proses yang mengubah ide tadi menjadi sesuatu yang baru dan berguna dan punya nilai jual. Nah, ini kuncinya adalah nilai jual. Jadi kalau seandainya kita tidak bisa menjualnya, itu hal yang susah. Nah, in pandemic, we can make uh, online business. We have joined to Shopee, maybe, Tokopedia in Indonesia, maybe you can join with, uh, yes, many, mar many, many application in marketplace. You can join that. I, I have uh, some, uh, some shop, yes, some toko uh, online di dalam marketplace. So I, I have do that. Innovation is a process to turn a new idea into something new and useful. So if you have not innovation you cannot uh, survive in this uh, pandemic jika kita tidak punya kemampuan untuk uh, memiliki inovasi kita nggak bisa survive di era pandemic kita harus bisa merubah 
we must change our our management in business uh, before become uh, a digital uh, digital management. Uh, selama ini kita berjualan dengan cara-cara yang konvensional. Sekarang kita harus merubah dengan marketplace. Because every everybody now, every everyone have a, a digital uh, platform. Semua kita punya itu. Have uh, Instagram, have uh, WhatsApp, have uh, FB, TikTok, and the others. So we can use the many platform, many application to make our business uh, and idea become uh, innovation. Okay, and this uh, what the entrepreneur we we become entrepreneur and we must be self confidence full of confidence optimistic commit discipline responsible if you don't have this self confident you we cannot be entrepreneur so if you want to be good entrepreneur we we must have this uh, mentality we have a futuristic orientation initiative active quick in action and dare to be different can be trust be strong in action and we have a full calculation and we we love a challenge in our life uh maybe uh two slide again yes uh so tips for growing entrepreneurship spirit kiat menumbuhkan jiwa entrepreneur ini gimana nih gua mau numbuhin jiwa entrepreneur if you uh, not independent life jika kita enggak hidup mandiri we 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 cannot do we cannot uh, have a spirit of entrepreneurship so we must in the be independent life we you you can follow the seminar you can see and watching the uh youtube maybe you can see and you you have uh growing the the empathy yes uh, uh to the others if you find something you try to do that uh, seperti kita contoh kenapa misalnya uh, Mas Menteri ya in Indonesian uh, Ministry of uh, Education and Technology uh, Depart apa eh, itu me me memulai usahanya ya uh, growing the Gojek uh, business uh, because he tried to uh, empathy about the uh, online yeah online transportation by a cycle uh, dia mulai tumbuhkan itu dengan rasa empatinya uh, so uh, he tried to develop his business with empathy humanistic uh, the second you, you must read biographies of successful entrepreneurs we can see uh, the model we, we we cannot be success without model if you want to be good people you you see what's the model of good people in your life if you not have a good model you cannot do and you cannot reach what do you want to be okay uh how to start a business these are three ways if you want to start up your business uh the second you you, you can start a new business uh from uh, zero yes memulai business baru sama sekali at the second you can buy a business a sustainable business business yang sudah ada and you can the second the, the third you can try to buy a franchise system this uh, many many people give uh, a challenge to change to the others to join uh, together to be a franchise of business okay and this the try uh, bermodal dari business is you can identify what your business you can make a, your vision a mission of your business uh, clearly and action how to step by step if, if you want to make a realization of your business and uh, every continuously uh, study and learn how about the uh, from your observation and the others and the last uh, slide my slide uh, this uh, tugas kita bukanlah untuk berhasil tugas kita adalah to mencoba our job is not to be success our job is to try 
because it is trying that we find and learn to build opportunities to success and success. Kita menemukan dan belajar untuk membangun kesempatan untuk berhasil and berhasil. So uh, I think uh, that's all my presentation, and I hope we cannot uh, sharing and discuss together. I'm not the the best people, not the best uh, lecture in my uh, chemistry department in UNP2. I'm one of the the, the, the lecturer who try to be uh, more, yes. Jadi saya bukan ini, bukanlah yang terbaik di jurusan ini dan juga bukanlah yang terbaik di UNP ya. Uh, tapi saya hanyalah orang yang ingin selalu belajar and belajar. Terima kasih. Thank you very much. See you. Thank you for the great explanation, Mr. Hadian. Yes. Um, so I, what I conclude from you, your slides as an entrepreneur, yeah, uh, we must have a big power, right? Yes. We need to increase and develop the skills and also the creativity yes. and innovation because uh, if we don't, if we do not increase them, we cannot increase ourselves is that right mister yes yes and also uh the last um quote from uh, and the slide of mr hadian is our job is to find and learn uh to opportunities become a succeed and become a success yes okay uh to to the audience who have um questions you can you can text on the chat box, yeah. So we will, you so your question will answer by our panelists in Q and A session. Um, okay. Uh, I wanna ask a question to Mr. Hadian. As a student university, yeah. Uh, in your opinion, or do you have, uh, or do you have a suggestion to us? What, what the business can we can we do during this pandemic situation? Yes. What kind uh, of business? I think uh, if you want to be uh, make a, a new business, we try to see different difference uh, difference. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, you see what the need of the people near of you. Like if you are a student, you, you try to find and identify what the needs of uh, your friend. Like uh, your friend need uh, for photocopy, like your friend is need to solve the problems, like uh, your friend need to be um, solving the what might be need for life too like food drink it's okay too not only for service i i, I think uh, dua ya dua hal yang bisa kita lakukan bisa berkaitan dengan jasa services and bisa berkaitan dengan product. Uh, product things products so you can identifying the first step what the need of your friend need of your neighbors need of your the people beside you if you find that and you think that the the needs of very important to the the others you can take the chance kita bisa ambil kesempatan itu you try it and don't 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 uh, uh, afraid yes don't afraid will fail akan gagal atau akan tidak berhasil jangan pikirkan itu dulu don't think about that if you think about difficult, everything is life is difficult. But if you if you think this uh, the change of your uh, your your business momentum, and you will be good, uh, build success. So our 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 that is in life just trying and trying. Your result is never mind about the result. Okay, I think that. Okay, thank you, Mr. Hadian. And uh, the main point is don't be afraid, right? 
Yes. Don't be afraid to start. Don't be afraid to do the because if 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 we are afraid, we will we will not become a great person. Yes. Is that true, Mrs. Nadratun? <laughs> Mrs. Yeah, correct. Oh, hello, Mrs. Nadratun. How are you? <laughs> Hi. I'm sorry. Good. I'm good here. Yes. Maybe oh. ne next time I will go to Upsi and I I find you. Okay. <laughs> Inshallah. Amin. Amin. May right. the pandemic COVID will decrease, okay, Mr. and Mrs. So we yes. can go to the Malaysia and talk to Mrs. Nadratun and yeah. also the uh, person uh, people in the UP, U, UPSI. Yes. <laughs> uh, there are, I got the questions from people in the chat box. The question for Dr. Nadratun, how can we get a confidence to start online business and how to manage if we had no any experience in business? Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you for the question. Okay. Um. Can I uh answer in Bahasa? Okay. Yes, you can. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, ya, yeah, student tidak ada pengalaman lagi dalam perniagaan uh, Terutamanya saya saya ingin uh, confirmkan semula uh, Semua uh, semua pelajar-pelajar ni daripada jurusan uh, kimia ke? Ya, yeah. chemistry Chemistry, chemistry. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, untuk uh, pelajar um, di dalam bidang kimia Okey macam kami di di UPSI kami ada H E D G E iaitu pusat pembangunan keusahaan dan Keba keboleh pasaran graduan. Okey yang saya rasa di UNP pun ada bahagian keusahaan di sana. Do you have a entrepreneurship um, organization? Yes. Yes also we have yeah. a entrepreneurship organization in okay. our university. Okay, so uh, disitulah uh, peluang untuk pelajar mengetahui dan mula mengenali tentang keusahawanan. Uh, jadi bermula di universiti. Macam kami di UPSI, kami ada age pusat pembangunan keusahawanan yang keboleh pasaran graduan. Jadi di sini ada pelbagai program untuk student di mana student boleh belajar keusahawanan daripada situ. Mungkin para pelajar adalah daripada bidang kimia. Bidang kimia mungkin uh, apabila belajar keusahawanan tidak ada contoh-contoh spesifik untuk bahagian ataupun background di dalam kimia. Selalunya keusahawanan akan diajar secara uh, umum. Okay. Dan juga uh, begitu juga dengan para pelajar, para pelajar kena ambil uh, ilmu keusahawanan ini secara umum dahulu. Maknanya cari ilmu keusahawanan, you search for the information, you search for the entrepreneurship education generally first. And then you can relate to your to your uh, bidang dan kursus ilmu pengetahuan yang diketahui. Okay, still you yourself uh, to be innovator, to be inventor, you have to be creative, you have to relate your uh, bidang, your background. Uh, contohnya di dalam uh, bidang kimia ada produk apa uh, um, Anissa Miss Anissa Okay Miss uh, we also have a uh, applied chemistry subject in our okay. chemistry uh, yeah in our chemistry we yeah. also make a uh, PCO virgin coconut oil uh. we also we can we can all, we also can make a uh, soap uh. soap from the PCO So now can you see the, the relationship between entrepreneurship and your 
your background yeah, study, yeah. right? So it uh, it depends on what uh, which uh, sector you want to go. If you want to go to uh, open market like um, uh, umum secara umum nak jual contohnya uh, minyak kelapa tadi dan sabun sesuai. Maksudnya itu untuk pasaran umum. Maknanya kena tahu juga pasaran sendiri tu pasaran apa. Macam kimia dia ada juga kilang. Kilang yang uh, ada uh, memerlukan bahan-bahan kimia. Mungkin boleh tengok dari segi tu. Dan juga apa lagi dalam bidang kimia ni. Kan? Mungkin dari segi penulisan, mungkin dari segi pengajaran, mungkin dari segi analisis data, mungkin dari segi uh, bila dah ada produk. Macam mana uh, jadi itu yang kita kaitkan pelajar tidak ada lagi pengetahuan tentang keusahawanan. Jadi kena belajar dulu tentang keusahawanan secara general. Kemudian kaitkan dengan bidang yang ada di manakah uh, peluang pasaran tu. Uh, apabila belajar baru kita nampak peluang tu. Maknanya uh, carilah tempat-tempat belajar mungkin uh, di sana kami dipanggil di sini kerajaan di sana apa ya? Renmi, ni kan? pihak kerajaan pihak berkuasa dia ada menyediakan pelbagai pelbagai apa ni um, government ha uh, government uh, menyediakan peluang-peluang untuk belajar keusahawanan jadi uh, okey um, cara ni boleh membantu pelajar membuka minda maknanya memang kena belajar dulu keusahawanan setelah belajar keusahawanan baru boleh relate dengan bidang masing-masing sama ada nak mencubukan diri dalam Um, online marketing, dalam retail, dalam franchise, dalam SME, di dalam perkilangan, pembuatan. Jadi dekat situlah nanti pilih di manakah uh, apa ni pasaran yang yang nak dicuburkan diri tu. Ha, okay. Kalau dalam bidang sekarang pandemik ni untuk memulakan uh, memang terpulang lah. Eh. Kalau nak dapat sumber biaya, uh, dia selalunya disediakan oleh pembiaya. Jadi kita akan minjam duit dan membuka satu perusahaan. Okey, ha yang tu satu cara uh, yang kita nak perniagaan terus buka dengan buka perniagaan dengan skala yang besar. Okey, so kalau nak mula dengan skala, skala kecil mungkin tengah belajar lagi dan masih uh, nak mencari ilmu dan kena masih ada masuk kelas nak kena belajar ada assignment dan sebagainya mungkin cuba dulu yang kecil-kecilan seperti yang tidak memerlukan modal just ambil uh, ambil ilmu keusahawanan maknanya tak semestinya kita jual makanan kita kita dalam bidang kimia kan tapi kita jual makanan kita tak dapat apa-apa daripada apa yang kita buat tu maknanya proses uh, keusahawanan tu akan dapat di dalam diri kita walaupun kita jual makanan jadi nanti bila sampai satu masa, contohnya para pelajar nak mengaitkan di dalam bidang sendiri, dah boleh dilihat dah. Macam contohnya boleh terlibat dengan para pencarah dalam penyelidikan yang ada mengeluarkan produk, boleh tanya pencarah, boleh berbaik, uh, berbaik-baik dengan pencarah, dengan lecturer dan mungkin lecturer tak mengkomersialkan uh, dia punya produk, jadi boleh bantu dan daripada, daripada situlah boleh digunakan uh, ilmu-ilmu keusahawanan yang dipelajari tadi. Ah, uh, maksudnya boleh bergabung dengan pencara untuk memasarkan apa-apa produk daripada uh, hasil penyelidikan dan sebagainya. Okey, yang tu jawapan saya. Terima kasih. Okey, thank you. Ini saya tu. So, uh, also the first thing is learn ya, yeah? learn the general about the entrepreneurship and then after we learn and then uh, we find the opportunities right and then after we find the opportunities we do do the action um okay thank you mrs nadratun um is another question is there any ways for us to manage our time efficiently while juggling between academic and business because both our two uh well i'm While we are still a student, yeah, still confused between academic and business. So, uh, do you have any ways for us to manage our time efficiently, Mrs? Uh,
Okay, please. What's another tune? It's for me, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's for uh, Dr. Hadian. Okay. Uh, for students, uh, we in Malaysia, we um, the students, um, some of the students uh, doing business, but only small business, which uh, the business is, uh, uh, it don't need uh, uh, too much capital or maybe no capital at all. And then um, uh, lower risk and they can do uh, when they, they can um, apa? Uh, schedule, schedule their, whether they are going to, to do marketing or they are going to do sales uh, and their study. Okay, so uh, jenis perniagaan yang sesuai untuk pelajar adalah seperti dropship. Uh, yang ni um, contohlah kan, maknanya dropship ni uh, ia tidak memerlukan modal, tidak memerlukan pelajar menghasilkan produk, so dia tak perlu ada produk. Maknanya produk yang dihasilkan oleh orang lain. <coughs> Kemudian jenis perniagaan ini lebih kepada pemasaran secara online, online marketing. Okay, kebanyakan pemilik produk telah siapkan format iklan, copywriting untuk disebarluaskan oleh ejen. Okay, pelajar ni uh, dia jadi ejen lah maksudnya dropship ni adalah satu cara untuk untuk apa ni satu cara uh, jualan lah maksudnya dropship ni dan student boleh jadi ejen uh, ejen di mana mereka cuma perlu memasarkan dan uh, bila ada bila ada order mereka just berikan kepada pemilik produk tu mereka akan post dan sebagainya ni dia just bekerja sebagai uh, marketer lah Ha, macam tu. Mereka juga menyediakan bagi insentif untuk prestasi yang macam melang. Macam um, dropship ni, owner ni, founder ni dia akan menyediakan berbagai insentif supaya pelajar-pelajar uh, atau bukan pelajar lah, dia kata ejen-ejen dia ni uh, aktif. Okay. Uh, so, um, namun ada juga produk yang memerlukan ejen untuk menjadi ahli. Maksudnya kena keluarkanlah duit maknanya fees, kena bayar yuran ataupun membeli produk mengikut package. Maknanya dia sediakan, uh, dia dia bagi syarat lah untuk membeli uh, certain amount, kemudian student kena jual. Jadi uh, mereka mahukan komitmen daripada ejen. So sebagai pelajar, jika sangat sesuai untuk untuk mengambil uh, cadang saya lah, saya cadangkan ambil jenis-jenis perniagaan yang seperti ni ataupun mungkin ada keluarga punya perniagaan just uh, buat seperti dropship ni kan maknanya dia tak perlu cari produk dan sebagainya dia cuma lakukan marketing saja dia tak pegang produk pun so uh, being a dropshipper uh, uh. just help to uh, advertise their music ya yeah, ya yeah. advertise the product market market marketing yeah. oh to market yeah. okay. Uh, okay i saw the Mrs. Fitri Amelia. Yes. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, saya pakai bahasa Indonesia aja ya. Okay. Ya, <laughs> okay. Uh, sebelumnya terima kasih kepada Dr. Nadratun juga Dr. Rahadian untuk uh, kesediaannya. Pada acara hari ini, saya tertarik dengan pembicaraan tadi mengenai copywriting. Uh, apakah di UPSI itu mahasiswa mahasiswa UPSI, studentnya itu diajarkan mengenai teknik-teknik copywriting ini? Karena uh, kalau di UNP sendiri mungkin Pak Dr. Rahadian bisa jelaskan karena kita juga seperti Dr. Radat, uh, Nadratun tadi cerita, kita punya uh, pusat untuk pengembangan uh, wira usaha ini. Tapi uh, mungkin uh, saya uh, juga kurang paham sebetulnya mengenai copywriting ini. Jadi apakah uh, mahasiswa atau student di UPSI itu diajarkan detail tentang copywriting ini? Karena tidak tidak gampang sebetulnya untuk uh, bisa seperti ini. Mungkin itu saja mungkin uh, uh, moderator. Oke, okay, thank you, Mr. Samaria. Oke, okay, to Mr. Rahadian. Please. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, honorable Mr. Uh, Chairman, 
Dr. Fitri Amelia, maybe uh, about copywriting. Uh, this the the part of our innovation. But uh, for students, we try to to give information when uh, our student will going to make competition. Uh, maksudnya begini, kalau ada mahasiswa kita yang akan ikut kompetisi, memang kita akan berikan masalah copywriting, copyright ya. Tapi kalau masalah, uh, kalau misalnya di Universitas Negeri Padang, kita ada namanya program mahasiswa wirausaha, ada kompetisi inovasi bisnis mahasiswa KIBM, ada business plan competition, kemudian nanti tahun depan ada lomba inovasi yang akan kita gelar internasional, mungkin kita akan adakan dengan UPSI mungkin juga kalau rencananya kita dengan UITM uh, Mara, uh, Mara ya Universitas Teknologi Mara di di apa di Perak juga ada sama yang di Johor. Tapi uh, maksudnya begini uh, ada skema-skema sebenarnya yang memang kita berikan di dalam perkuliahan uh, perkuliahan ya di mahasiswa wirausaha itu ada pertemuan tentang legal legal legalitas di dalam usaha yes. about legal yes. maybe uh, in I don't know about in, in Malaysia di UPSI bagaimana gitu tapi memang ada bagian itu yang kita berikan uh, this this uh, uh, sekarang kita juga ada lomba inovasi 42 tim dari Universitas Negeri Padang yang kita kirim ke 44 tim ya. Kita kirim ke beberapa negara ya. Dan itu mereka semua akan kita berikan copyright ya di dalam usahanya. Memang usaha-usaha yang mereka kembangkan itu harus ada legalnya. Ada pendanaan juga yang akan diberikan dari kementerian. Malahan itu dari pemerintah ya Government of Republic Indonesia will give uh, uh, dana ya bantuan semacam fund ya funding for develop uh, startup business but the point uh, the, the first uh, criteria ya kriteria utama adalah every uh, business yes must have copyright nah, jadi harus ada copywriting maka kalau tidak ada itu maka tidak bisa diberikan pendanaan maka memang Uh, upaya itu akan kita sosialisasikan dan kita upayakan mahasiswa sudah mengenalnya tentang bagaimana menemukan ide bisnis, bagaimana me mewujudkannya. Misalnya for for simple a case about the logo dan merek. Logo dan merek itu kalau kita kasus yang terakhir masalah ayam geprek Gebensu yang ada di apa di Jakarta ya antara Ruben dan mitra yang lain itu kan masalah mereknya. Nah, jadi setiap uh, apa namanya uh, bisnis yang mau diluncurkan oleh mahasiswa itu mereka sudah ada usungan merek uh, dan logo. Itu dua hal yang paling fatal dan paling menentukan untuk membangun sebuah usaha. Jadi dia punya logo dan punya merek. Tahun ini di our university kita menyediakan uh, kurang lebih 30 merek ya. Dan insya Allah itu tercapai dan itu adalah bagian dari komitmen kita untuk membuat uh, apa uh, sivitas akademika di Universitas Negeri Padang itu memiliki uh, kemampuan untuk memiliki copyright di dalam merek dan tentu akan juga berdampak ke mahasiswa mahasiswa pada tahun ini PMW kita kan belum sampai ke sana ada 100 startup bisnis yang kita berikan ya ke mahasiswa kelompok-kelompok mahasiswa dan itu sebenarnya ujung-ujungnya nantinya untuk dia bisa naik tingkat ke tingkat nasional dan internasional mereka harus punya copyright baik itu dalam bentuk hak cipta biasa maupun dalam bentuk merek produk gitu. Nah, itu paling informasi yang bisa disampaikan uh, Bu Dr. Fitri Amelia. Thank you moderator Anissa. Oke, okay, thank you to Mr. Hadian Zaino. So, uh, how about in Malaysia? Prof. Dr. Nagratun Uh, the copywriting in uh, UPSI. Okay. Um, 
Uh, okay. Um, copywriting. Copyright. Yeah. Okay, yeah. copyright dia, kalau copyright adalah um, kita ada my IPO. Okay, my IPO ni kalau buat produk dan juga logo boleh uh, copyright lah. Okay, okay kalau di dalam um, kita kata keusahaan, uh, kita kata digital marketing. Okay, uh, kalau copyright ni, copywriting ni adalah kita buat satu maknanya copywriting ni adalah cara cara penulisan penulisan untuk mempromosikan sesuatu market. produk. Market. Ha. Yeah, market. Ha. dia ada soft sell, hard sell, ada teaser. Jadi dia ada copywriting. Kalau kami di di sini memang para pelajar kami ajar tentang soft sell, hard sell dan mereka juga membuat copywriting untuk produk-produk mereka. So the the view of the copywriting is what what kind of the view the view. So uh, I uh, mean this I mean um, bentuk seperti apa? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, copywriting ni kalau kalau sekarang ni juga ada ada jika kita tengok buku international pun ada juga yang mengajar tentang copywriting. Copywriting ni bukan uh, perkara yang kita kata setempat. Maknanya satu dunia ada copywriting ni. Uh, jadi dia okay, kita ikut uh, kesesuaian, kesesuaian tempat dan kesesuaian produk. Copywriting ni dia ada dia cerita dia boleh buat satu buku lah. Ha uh, cerita dia macam tu. Uh, tapi bila nak menggunakan tu dia tengok kesesuaian produk. Ha. Lebih kepada ada ada beberapa prinsip untuk kita kita membina sebuah copywriting. So uh, I take the example for the dropshipper. So do the dropshipper should uh, should should write the copywriting. Okay, if uh, if uh, students they they want to do dropship, uh, sometimes the owner of the product they already create the the copywriting for the agent to just spread the the copywriting. They already have and they already create um every day uh, for the their agent to to blast. So the students can learn from the the product owner how they they do the copywriting. They can learn also. Uh, uh, selain daripada dalam kelas, dia boleh tengok sendiri dan boleh guna sendiri. Uh, di dalam kelas, dia kena create lah. Uh, ikut oh. produk dia tu. Okay, okay. So does this answer your question? Is this it, Amelia? <laughs> okay, thank you, Doctor. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, saya memang tertarik sekali dengan copywriting ini karena uh, sering sekali tak mau beli produk, akhirnya beli produk juga. Ah, okay. Kadang, oh, dia punya testimoni dia, ha, yeah. itu lah kekuatan Jadi, copywriting tu. Makanya tadi tadi saya tertarik. Uh, kira-kira uh, apakah ini diajarkan di dalam perkuliahan atau hmm. hanya dalam uh, uh, student-student yang ikut projek saja gitu itu itu yang tadi saya ingin uh, sebetulnya ingin dalami gitu. kita aja tapi taklah mendalam sangat macam basic sebab semua semua student UPSI kena ambil uh, subjek keusahaan jadi uh, antara subjek tu memang saya pun ada aja juga lah. Saya juga antara lecturer yang mengajar uh, keusahawanan. Jadi memang kita ajarkan tapi sebab ada banyak proses, semuanya uh, surface lah. Maksudnya dia tak go uh, deeper. Just surface tapi copywriting dia, mereka tahu. Oh so the general of the copywriting? Ya, yeah, general. Hmm, so you teach the general the, of copywriting in the class? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay, related to what? buat uh, produk dia dia apa yang dijual. Um, yeah. Okay. Maybe Mrs. Fitri Amelia can uh, can help us in our department uh, actually for the um, entrepreneur in Himaki. <laughs> Mrs. 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 Fitri Amelia uh, if you want to help us uh, and then uh, we will 
we will do the um, seminar about the copywriting. If, if, if Mrs. Fitri Amelia giving us the opportunity. <laughs> ya, insya Allah ya Pak Radian ya. Uh, nanti yes. kalau Dr. Nadratun uh, bersedia, nanti kita bincang-bincang mengenai copywriting inilah. <laughs> okay. Oh, boleh ya. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Because it's really important, right, Mrs. Yes. and Mr.? Yes. Very important. Anissa, Dr. Fitri Amelia, Nadra. Okay, uh, thank you to Mrs. Fitri Amelia for the question, for the great question. Uh, and then the question for Dr. Rahadian. How, how to maintain consistency in entrepreneurship during a pandemic, Dr. Rahadian? Maintain consistency in, entre in okay. entrepreneurship. Yes. Uh... Okay, uh, how to make maintain consistency in entrepreneurship? I think is depend to our commitment, uh, our commitment and our effort to never give up. So uh, the first step we 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 can keep in our mood yes, and our effort are. Uh, Try uh, step by step, little by little, little little by little, sedikit demi sedikit. If you uh, if you make a product uh, with a limited edition, of course, uh, make our price is will uh, stable. Jadi maksudnya begini, kita nggak boleh buat usaha atau buat buat apa buat produk itu yang buat uh, berkelebihan gitu atau buat jasa yang terlalu banyak. Nah kalau hal begitu itu akan menurunkan kualitas dan konsistensi kita di dalam memenuhi komitmen kita kepada pelanggan. Jadi buatlah uh, layanan yang kita batasi untuk menjaga uh, kepuasan dari pelanggan kita. So if we want to be a good entrepreneur, we must be a good uh, customer. Jadi kalau kita ingin menjadi pelanggan apa, menjadi entrepreneur yang baik, kita juga harus belajar menjadi pelanggan yang baik. Nah, pelanggan itu biasanya menyukai sesuatu yang komitmen. Uh, kemudian mutu yang baik. Uh, my experience uh, yesterday I have a, a big complaint to one of the one of the marketplace. Nah, this is my experience. Jadi ada pengalaman saya kemarin kejadiannya. Uh, saya komplain kepada perusahaan Nature Health. Uh, bahkan saya sampai menyampaikan komplain itu kepada perusahaan namanya PT Radian uh, Central Nutrindo. Itu one of the big biggest uh, and uh, apa uh, company in pharmaceutical di dalam bidang uh, kesehatan especially in herbal because uh, akhirnya mereka mengatakan mereka ada kesalahan di dalam membuat produk bayangkan sementara produk itu sudah beredar nah i uh, complain to the the business Mereka bilang uh, ada produknya itu adalah uh, produk bawang putih odorless. Odorless is uh, the, that mean uh, not smell, tidak berbau. But in fact, yang dikirimnya itu adalah fresh, fresh uh, garlic. Uh, I mean uh, ekstrak fresh garlic, uh, ekstrak bawang putih yang yang segar. Kalau yang segar itu produknya itu adalah berbau. Tapi di labelnya uh, the the company right on orderless. Nah, lalu saya sampaikan ini produknya salah gitu. Oh, mereka berkatakan mengatakan ini tidak salah. Nah karena tidak salah akhirnya saya sampaikan ke perusahaannya berikan saya kontak ke perusahaannya. Lalu dia berikan saya ke manajer PT Radian Central Indo Nutrindo dan ternyata mereka mengakui kami salah karena kami uh, terburu Oh, banyaknya pesanan-pesanan yang datang terkait dengan bawang putih. 
Sehingga kami salah dengan produk ini. Dia mengatakan minta maaf dan dia malah mengajak kerjasama. Dan saya bilang di, di jurusan kami ada salah satu jurusan farmasi yang juga akan besar. Nanti mungkin Ibu Fitri Amelia bisa dan kawan-kawan ya bisa menjadikan PT Sentral Nutrindo ini menjadi mitra dalam uh, berkaitan dengan herbal herbal dan ini. Dan itu adalah produk dari Nature's Health. Saya rasa everybody in Indonesia know about the Nature's Health because uh, one of the biggest company about the uh, medicine uh, herbal medicine in Indonesia. So if we want to be uh, consistency in business, the first step we must keep the quality and we must keep the consistency, uh, not not uh, ambition. Jadi jangan terlalu banyak ambisinya. So we forget to 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 maintain to untuk menjaga quality and commitment to the our customer. Thank you, Anissa. My pleasure, Dr. Hadian. Dr. Hadian, yeah, because in being an entrepreneur, also as a seller, yeah, as yeah. a seller, or uh, maybe the buyer didn't buy our product, so the seller feel sad and bored, and uh, I don't want to sell again. Uh, I'm bored like that, so maybe. I need. I think it will take a few time to to istirahat mungkin ya bapak dan ibu. Yes. <laughs> and then after after a short break and go ahead and do the action again. Uh, yes, so I agree. I agree. yeah, uh, in to the audience here. I thought that maybe. Our audience also um, have a business. Uh, wait. Do the audience here? No, no. Who? Who are the audience that have a business? I want to ask to the audience. Maybe, uh, maybe Indah, Indah have a business. Uh, could you tell us what business that you do? Maybe the our lecturer and our panelists can know what business that you do. Anyone? Are the students from the UPSI? Yes, Abrar. Okay, please, Abrar. Maybe a brother has a trouble in the audio. While waiting for a brother, uh, if my audience here who have the business, please. Talk to us. I mean, please tell us what is your business. Okay, please, Abrar. Hello. Yes, yes nice. Abrar. Please. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not joining this discussion with my account. 
Okay, actually, moderator, uh, is in Pak Radian, is in Miss Nadergun. Actually, I have uh, start up business with my friends from the senior high school. It's it's like a media platform for young generation. Oh, so, really? Yes. Uh, so we. It calls Haibung, Haibung.com, Haibung. H? Oh, can you pronounce, uh, I mean, can you spell the name of your media platform? H-A-I-B-U-N-G. Haibung. Haibung. We actually know Bung is a friendly greeting from the godfather of Indonesia, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, we use word boom to yeah untuk uh, membangkitkan spirit. No, like that. Apa so, muda ini? Jadi kami membuat itu, tapi sebenarnya ini tujuannya bukan untuk bisnis, cuman uh, side 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 purpose-nya itu ya. Tentunya kita semua pengen punya uang. Iya, yeah, actually yes. Uh, tapi ya itu sedang dalam proses pendanaan pengajuan itu investor. Oh, so you you join your um, platform into the competition? Hmm. Oh, so uh, you. So, Mr. Rahadian actually know what's your product, right? Uh, Is it true, Mr. Rahadian? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like a media platform. Uh, we inspired from uh, Reuters. Reuters. Uh, um, if we look at, take a look at media, online media from Indonesia, it's I think it's not satisfying to read some articles or news there because there's too many advertise. There's yeah, many. advertise that disturb yeah. us while reading, yeah. So your media or uh, your content in the media is the articles. Yes, like articles. So, without ad, without um, iklan. Without ads, without yeah. iklan. Without ads, ya. Oke, oke. Apa? Low, low profit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wishing that your media platform will be a winner in the competition. I Amen. mean, and yeah, that's for Abrar and others. How about other audience who have the business who have who do the business and what's your product? From the UPSA student, anyone? My, I asked to Dr. Nadratun, maybe. Okay, sure. <laughs> Please, Mr. Hadian. Yes. Uh, hello, uh, Dr. Nadratun. Uh, how about the uh, what does it mean in U UPSI? Uh, all of the students of our university has uh, studied normally in uh, campus now? Okay, um, thank you for the question. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, for us in uh, Fakulti Pengurusan dan Ekonomi, uh, kami masih uh, work from home oh. dan pembelajaran secara online. Sebab kami tiada keperluan untuk menggunakan sebarang peralatan yang kita kata yang student tak boleh belajar jika tak ada keperluan tu lah. Macam contohnya lab kan, kami tak ada keperluan untuk access lab. Jadi uh, kami semua online, 100% online. Dan ada student yang kembali ke UPSI tetapi kami tidak menjalankan uh, uh, apa ni? Tidak menjalankan PDP pembelajaran dan pengajaran uh, secara bersemuka tak ada. Uh, how about the ini? 
uh, vaksin. Vaksin. Vaksin, okay. In Malaysia, almost 90% uh, already uh, vaccinated lah. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. uh, I asked to you about that because uh, I missed to UPSI yes, uh, situation. Yes, I will uh, go to UPSI again, maybe to sure. make uh, some uh, project with my prof Elias, yeah, prof Dr. Elias and uh, Ibu Dr. Nurhayati and the others, maybe. And I miss. Uh, uh situation like uh, many students uh, uh, in UPSI jadi ramai sekali di sana saya ingin kembali ke sana ingin datang yeah. boleh jumpa di sini ah uh, iya boleh jumpa mau coba ini uh, apa kantin-kantinnya sudah buka atau apa so, so, so. Okay, kantin buka tapi kami macam bila kami kena ikut SOP lah SOP. Oh, SOP. Hmm. Ada ini transportation uh, apa namanya? Biasa saya kalau saya naik kereta, naik mobil itu dari satu tempat ke tempat lain itu kalau di sini namanya go car, tapi di sana ada nama lain. Oh, sini Grab, Grab car. Uh, bukan Grab, tapi ada nama lainnya. Saya lupa. Taxi. Uh, bukan taxi, but uh, yang ngelola itu adalah student-student juga. Jadi. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Mereka punya kita grup WhatsApp. Kita panggil Grab. Selalunya kita akan panggil Grab walaupun student yang buat. Lah. Ada, ada namanya yang... Jadi saya langganan saya dari dormitori oh. itu ke lab atau dari dormitori mau keluar ke opsi yang ada di kota itu bisa naik itu. gitu. Is it private? Ah, yes. Private. Uh, because oh. some of my friend, audience tell yes. in the chat private. Private, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Private. Yes, that's right. Private. What does it mean private? Private ni macam private. It's oh, a private. private. Yes. Uh, I I have uh, some private number. And I <laughs> I have a community. Yeah, I community. Do. Private community. Yes. So if I, I need uh, to take me from dormitory uh. to the canteen, I mean, uh, restaurant, uh, or to my uh, mosque, I, I will go to the mosque. Yes. I, I try use private. Yeah. Uh, how about this business? Apakah bisnis ini private ini juga berdampak selama pandemi di kampus kita Dr. Nadratun? Kampus kita ni uh, yang boleh ada hanyalah 40% je di dalam oh. di dalam setiap ni tu pun uh, kebanyakannya eh, bahagian admin. Jadi student masih belum dapat akses ke dalam UPSI sepenuhnya lah. Hanya mereka pun yang pulang ke kampus hanya berada di di dalam uh, mereka punya tempat lah. Maksudnya tak tak masuk ke fakulti dan sebagainya. Dan like, tak ada akses sepenuhnya lagi lah. Jadi private ni, kalau student yang menjalankan private ni tiada di di UPSI jadi ti, tak adalah private. Tapi kalau call dia pasti ada kat sini mungkin dia, dia masih ada lagi perkhidmatan tu. Oh ya. Yeah. Haa. Ada juga sekarang ni banyak ramai yang buat grab food. Oh, gitu. Mm -hmm. Okay, terima kasih, Dr. Nadratun. Yeah. Maybe I will going to uh, back to U UPSI next okay. year. Maybe okay. I I miss so much going That's to. Great. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, um, I still back into the last question yet. Yeah. Do do the audience here have the business? Could you tell to us actually for the UPSI student? Because I want to hear the audience. I want to hear and also I want to see the UPSI student. Is, any, is anyone here? Is it yeah. yeah, please. Okay, my name is Azi. Okay, Azi, hello. I'm one of the committee members for this uh, program. Uh, so I have uh, some small business. I sell chokoja. Do you know chokoja? Uh, choco is it uh, chocolate? I, I, it's like cereal, but it is uh, covered with chocolate. And then you can snack it uh, throughout the day. Oh, how long did you do the business? 
uh, I just started uh, in this uh, February. February uh, in on this year. Oh yes, yes. Oh good. Oh uh, who who is your buyer? I mean, what's your market? Uh, oh, um, that's the product, Eva. I saw Eva already shown the. No. <laughs> It's an example of why Azi sold. But oh, Azi said, I, yeah, yeah. I'm not a seller, but I this bought. This is the product. Uh, you show like, the product. The uh, product just showing the product of what Azi is selling. Oh, good. Uh, something like that. Uh, oh. Okay, back to Azi. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Ifa. Do you like the Azi product, Ifa? I thought that you, you, you are the... Um, I mean, setia ya, pelanggan setia gitu. <laughs> Lovely customer. Special, special. Yeah, special, special customer. Azi, uh, do during this pandemic, do the do your product is do your product active. I mean, uh, the buyer can buy, uh, the your product during this pandemic. Sering oh. gitu terjadi. Uh, yes, yes. Um, usually, I market my product in Facebook or Instagram. Uh, usually, um, my customers come from uh, those two uh, media social. Uh, so, uh, most of my uh, customers, uh, they are from the community itself, uh, not uh, specific specifically from students or specifically from um, any kind of target. It's just from the community around me which is from my place. Uh, so when I um, market my product, uh, they usually uh, message me uh, on WA or WhatsApp. Oh, so to contact you or to buy the your product is uh, through the WhatsApp? Uh, yes, yes. Don't you do the promotion in, on Instagram? Uh, yes, I do both in uh, Instagram and Facebook because I can link uh, between... Facebook and Instagram, right? So when I uh, post in Instagram, it will automatically be shared on Facebook. Oh, nice! Oh, uh, what Nadrat, what Miss Mrs. Nadratun said, you applied it on your product, <laughs> yeah? Yes, yes. And also, what Mr. Hadian said, you applied it to to your product by like um market in online online market, okay? That's for Azi. Others? Thank you. Thank you, Azi. Uh, others, students from UPSI, do you have the business and what? What's your bit? What's your product? Eva, do you have? Don't you do the business or? Pardon me, uh, I can't hear. I can hear your voice. I'm sorry. Uh, I just bought what my friends sell to support them. Oh my god, uh, good! <laughs> you support your friends, yeah? Uh, if I have money la. If, <laughs> oh, yeah. if I have a lot, if my pocket money is higher than I used to save, I will go and buy my friends. Uh, product product yeah <laughs> oh nice oh such a <laughs> lovely friend drop side do... drop zipper huh? <laughs> drop zipper uh fifa oh uh, no drop I, uh drop ship yeah my friends <laughs> most of, um most of them are drop but drop ship in one of region i mean uh beside your home maybe because the the same location drop ship too mm, usually uh because Usually drop ship. Uh, they are from a lot of a uh, region, right? Yes, a lot of. Uh, but sometimes I don't know the person in my region. Uh, apa tu the the person who drop ship in my region. So I just, uh, wait. Uh, uh, how, how many person? How many percentage you you get it from the, uh, the product? If you can sell the product, how many? Uh, ring it, ring it. You will, you will get maybe. Uh, what's what's price of the product? Oh, how price? 
how much yeah uh? i actually yeah. don't know because i just know uh what my friends sell i didn't ask them deep hey, wait i'm sorry uh <laughs> uh can dot <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I think that if I only buy, Mister. Ah, I only oh, yeah. buy, but, but you do only not buy. do the uh, drop I'm sorry, cheaper. I'm sorry. And I, I think... don't know oh, about the yeah, yeah. cheaper. I, but... I, I, I know sell, sell. <laughs> I do not know. Oh, I can. Maybe if I can be, what does it mean? Uh, endorse, yes, yeah? endorse the ah, product. Ah, yeah, endorse. By and your... give the testimony, right? Oh, yes. Yes. something <laughs> like that. I don't know, lah. I cannot. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe just uh, in front of my friends. Maybe I can ah uh, ah uh, see this ah uh, see this ah uh, this is very tasty ah. Uh, yes, but, like but if uh, in a pandemic uh, situation, of course you cannot contact to your friend. Yeah, yeah. You you can make a uh, videos or you you make a uh, TikTok maybe content like that. Oh, and something by like yes, your Instagram, <laughs> and from that your friend will will what does it mean pre-order or uh, buy the your friend products and you uh, get a uh, follower and you get money too maybe for next time well, maybe good. maybe good good but i'm not i'm not a petora cup i'm not famous <laughs> uh, i'm not i'm not influencer la. Yes. i'm yes. just normal <laughs> Uh, something like that. Uh, you are yes. such a support system, yeah, kamu Ifa. Ah uh, yeah, but if I'm broke, uh, I just share what my friends so oh uh, what my friends sell something. Ah, uh. alright, good, good. Mm. Okay, um, other students from UPSI. Suliza, Suliza, I'm also selling food during the pandemic. Oh, really? Could you could you uh, tell to us, Suliza? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Please. Okay. Uh, if you can uh, turn on your camera, please turn on your camera, yeah, Suliza. No, I'm sorry. Can I uh, turn off the camera and use the audio? Okay, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Please um, tell I'm, us what, what product that you sell. I'm selling um, spaghetti carbonara. Oh, it's really suitable for us in the morning because in the morning we are in a hurry to go to campus and got the... Uh, hungry and can buy your spaghetti, right? Yeah, but uh, I'm selling this from home since I'm uh, learning online from home. So I'm selling from home and I'm delivered we, uh, when customer order from me. Oh, so you deliver by yourself or you deliver by using uh, Grab? No, no, by myself. Oh, so you deliver to Door to door, right? Yeah. Ah, so others, so your friends contact you via WhatsApp? No, mostly my customer from Facebook, WhatsApp, oh, Facebook. TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. TikTok really help. <laughs> TikTok really help. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, so your customer buy your product, buy your product, and then do the promotion in the TikTok, right? Yeah, such from a the... good influencer. Oh, mm -hmm. can I know who is the most, uh, most attractive influencer for your product? I mean, I didn't ask the influencer to promote my product, but I post it on the TikTok, oh, and then um, like that. you pro you do customer. the promotion. Yeah, mm, on the yeah, TikTok, yeah. but mostly Facebook also help because. They have the platform which name Marketplace. Oh, right. uh, okay, nice. <laughs> uh, Prof. Dr. Natratun, uh, do you have any word to Suriza and uh, Azi and also Abrar? Because okay. they are already told us uh, about <laughs> their product. Firstly, I want to congratulate la, for the <laughs> students that uh, already have business. 
uh, even uh, only small business or you doing uh, dropship um kind of uh, selling process selling procedure and then you do uh apa ni you make a uh, product like uh, apa spaghetti carbonara is good because you sometimes um kadang-kadang ada orang ada skill tapi dia tak berani uh, <laughs> dia ada macam contoh uh, masak kek kan big big yeah, something yeah. like kek tapi tak berani nak nak buka open order uh, kan Confident, jadi sebenarnya contohlah kan kepada siapa tadi Suliza eh Suliza Azi and contohnya lah macam mana boleh mulakan bisnes kan bukan senang kan nak mula bisnes yang first kali boleh dapat sale tu Oh first kali tu memang payah, memang sangat payah sebab yeah. um, masa first saya nak jual tu saya pun macam teragak-agak So masa saya masak tu macam family pun macam okay boleh lah ni jual macam Mendapat sambutan daripada family and then I beranikan diri untuk post on social media And then my first customer is from Facebook Ya. Yeah. Ah. So rasa macam mana? First customer tu rasa macam mana? First customer tu, oh I'm so excited sebab okay. baru first time jual produk kan Lepas yeah. tu bila dia dah beli tu and then bila dia banyak kali repeat order So I will, I'm confident to promote it more Macam okay. lagi confident nak promote sebab okay. the same customer repeat order mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. ada juga yang tanya tentang apa ni um, Mental mental breakdown kan <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mental yeah. breakdown during uh, uh, promotion Uh, ada orang yang takut nak berniaga sebab takut kecewa, takut macam-macam lah takut Tapi sebenarnya apabila di dalam keusahawanan apabila seseorang tu dah menguasai Maknanya dia dah dia dah faham macam mana berniaga Dia dah tahu tentang perkara-perkara yang dia akan hadapi lepas tu dia confident, dia nampak jalan Selalunya dia tak akan down Dia akan motivated sendiri untuk lebih memperbaiki perniagaan dia. Ha, kadang orang yang tak mencubukan diri dalam perniagaan lagi dia akan fikir macam-macam. Mm-hmm. Dia takut tu takut ni takut takut takut. Kan? Okey, kalau contoh sekarang ni lah uh, pendapat saya kepada para pelajar yang sekarang um, uh, sekarang berada di dalam apa ni masih belajar kan. Jadi dan background adalah dalam chemistry kan. Jadi apa salahnya jika Uh, mencubulkan diri dalam bidang hmm. yang yang sedang dipelajari Maksudnya kaitkan uh, kekawanan sejarah general ni Kepada uh, pro-produk yang berkaitan dengan chemistry juga okay. Okay, Itulah you. pendapat saya Maksudnya mengembangkan lagi uh, bakat yang ada tu Kadang-kadang kita dah confident berniaga makanan Tetapi Cara yang sama juga sebenarnya untuk dalam produk-produk lain Cuma dia agak ada di Kita kena faham lah produk tu macam mana orang nak beli Sehingga orang meluar, mengeluarkan duit untuk beli tu ha, Bila faham tu dia okey lah Itulah tips daripada saya kepada pelajar yang memang dah berniaga Macam nak kembangkan lagi um, Bakat tu kan Okay. okay, thank you for the suggestion, Dr. Nadratun. How about you, Dr. Hadian? Could you do you have any word to say to our uh, audience that do the business? Actually, for the three of our audience, Abrar, uh, Abrar, Suliza, and Aziz. Please, Dr. Hadian, do you have suggestion or motivation? Uh, yes, uh, maybe I will give uh, support to, to the newcomers in business. Never give up and try to new, new, new ways. And if you find some difficult, it's never mind. It's uh, usual if you want to be uh, uh, good uh, entrepreneurs. And one of my tips for all of us, uh, the first salary of the first customer is uh, make a, a, a 
and not uh, for the next uh, because this uh, the momentum we try one step because if you want to uh, one million ways we from step by step so the first step we make a uh, uh, history and we make uh, some a quote, quote, yes, uh, this uh, the first step, we become entrepreneur. Because if we, we never try to get get a, a, a change, the first step, we never be uh, the one million steps. I think that's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you to Dr. Harian. And also, I want to tell, uh, I want to um, tell, not, not tell, but uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, I also uh, do the business because um, no, no, I'm I do the teaching practice in at school, yeah. Because uh, and then because because in Padang, we do the online school, yeah. Uh, and so uh, the students uh learn it at home and also and only teachers and also uh, university students at school so in the morning uh, I I bring the risoles the name of the food is risoles yeah risoles uh, the content of the risoles is um, potato uh, like uh, chicken uh, daging ayam yeah chicken meat uh, so I bring to school and I reseller what my neighbor sell i bring it and i sell also to my friends uh also same with lisa uh, my ex, uh what i feel is really excited because my friend because what i bring habis seketika because they are too hungry uh, being an entrepreneur is really happy because while when um your product is when all your product is uh, sudah terjual semua ya yeah. uh, so uh, i cannot say anything because i uh, really so excited ya yeah. apalagi if uh, that soliza said uh, your same customer buy again nah uh, it's really i'm so really excited okay thank you to our, all of our audience and thank you very much to our panelists because uh, the your explanation is really great. It's really excellent. We got so many uh, knowledge from from you, from both of you, Dr. Nadratun and Dr. Rahadian. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. We hope to see you again next time. However, we are not at the end yet. Yeah, wishing that this pandemic will be decreased and we can and uh. UNP students will go to the UPSI. Please yes. waiting for us. Okay, before we close, before we close yes. uh, the the meeting, to the to the audience, please turn on your camera because we want to do the photography session. Hmm? Yeah, I remain. I remain again. Please uh, turn on your camera because we want to do the photography session. Oh yeah, after do the photography session, please don't forget to 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 click the link link of attendance in the chat box. Yeah, the raw link of the present link present link in our Zoom chat box. Okay. Okay, I will guide you for the first slide. One, keep smile, yeah. Keep smile, and if you want to sell, free, free sell, yes, you can, yeah. Okay, one, first slide. One, two, three. Okay, next, for the second slide. One, two, three. Next. For the third slide, please turn on your camera, the audience. 
please show us your beauty face. Your handsome face, yeah. Okay, for the third slide, the last slide. One, two, three. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. I say it again to our panel and to the audience here. Yeah. Um, 274 audience here. Oh, I'm so glad to be moderator. Uh, thank you for joining this webinar. Hope to see you again for the next week and Saturday. Yeah. Uh, and then. Don't forget to apply what our panel said, what our panel tell to us. Yeah, because being an entrepreneur is really excited. Yeah, is um I mean that really great gitu. Okay, see you in the next week. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, terima, terima kasih buat Bapak Ibu dosen yang sudah hadir, beserta waktunya untuk hadir dalam acara kita di pagi sampai siang hari ini. Terima kasih banyak Pak, terima kasih banyak Bu. Dan also, uh, thank you to our lecturers that have been joining for this webinar, the UPSI lecturer. Thank you very much for joining this webinar. See you on the next week at Saturday with the new theme. Okay, excuse me, Anissa, Abra, yes, and everybody. Excuse me. Okay, see you, Dr. Adian. Yes, thank you. Terima kasih semuanya. Saya izin left juga ya. Yes, thank you, Dr. Okay. Riga. Pak Radian, makasih. Thank you, yes. thank you, Mr. Riga. Yes, everybody, thank you. So Universitas Negeri Padang berdiri sejak tahun 1954 dengan nama PTPG Batu Sangkar. Visi Universitas Negeri Padang menjadi universitas bermartabat dan bereputasi internasional. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Saya Profesor Ganevri PhD, Rektor Universitas Negeri Padang. Selamat datang di Universitas Negeri Padang. Perkembangan teknologi dan tuntutan dunia kerja Dunia usaha saat ini memacu Universitas Negeri Padang untuk mengembangkan diri secara berkelanjutan. Universitas Negeri Padang fokus melaksanakan pendidikan dan pengajaran yang berutu, riset dan publikasi yang berkualitas, serta pengabdian masyarakat yang bermanfaat. Universitas Negeri Padang memiliki delapan fakultas, Fakultas Ilmu Pendidikan, Delapan program studi terakreditasi A. Fakultas Bahasa dan Seni, enam program studi terakreditasi A. Fakultas Ilmu Sosial, lima program studi terakreditasi A. Fakultas Ekonomi, sembilan program studi terakreditasi A. ISNP. Fakultas Pariwisata dan Perhotelan, 
tiga program studi terakreditasi A. Fakultas Teknik, lima program studi terakreditasi A. Fakultas MIPA, tujuh program studi terakreditasi A. Fakultas Ilmu Keolahragaan, tiga program studi terakreditasi A. Dan Pasca Sarjana, dua program studi terakreditasi A. Selain itu, delapan program studi mendapat sertifikasi internasional dan 16 program studi dalam proses akreditasi internasional. Kampus Universitas Negeri Padang tersebar di tujuh titik di Provinsi Sumatera Barat. Universitas Negeri Padang memiliki fasilitas dan infrastruktur yang lengkap seperti perpustakaan pusat dengan layanan digital, auditorium berkapasitas lebih dari 8.000 kursi, kolam renang dan lapangan olahraga, terstandar nasional dan internasional, serta sekolah laboratorium mulai dari TK sampai SMA. Hello everyone, nama saya Maria Adeline Boroin. I'm from Cabe State University, Philippines. It's worth to remember and Fasilitas lain adalah klinik, asrama mahasiswa internasional, hotel UNP, pusat bisnis, masjid, dan pusat pendidikan guru. Dalam rangka meningkatkan kualitas lulusan dan menuju universitas berkelas internasional, UNP memiliki laboratorium yang lengkap, didukung dengan peralatan canggih, pusat pengembangan soft skill dan kreativitas mahasiswa, serta fasilitas praktikum dan latihan yang memadai. Kampus Universitas Negeri Padang juga menyediakan fasilitas bagi mahasiswa disabilitas. Capaian terbaik Universitas Negeri Padang, Universitas Negeri Padang meraih peringkat lima nasional kategori riset dan publikasi di Indonesia. Satuan kerja terbaik dalam pengelolaan barang milik negara. Terbaik tiga tingkat nasional pengelolaan media sosial. Juara satu perguruan tinggi negeri menuju informatif di Indonesia. Rektor Universitas Negeri Padang meraih achievement motivation person dari Komisi Informasi Sumatera Barat. Sepuluh besar perguruan tinggi terbaik dalam pendampingan desa wisata di Indonesia. Mahasiswa UNP menjadi juara pada MTQ Nasional ke-28. Universitas Negeri Padang juga meraih penghargaan sebagai badan publik informatif dari Komisi Informasi Pusat tahun 2019. Universitas Negeri Padang juga meraih penghargaan pertama keterbukaan informasi publik dari Komisi Informasi Sumatera Barat. Rektor Universitas Negeri Padang dinobatkan untuk meraih penghargaan Achievement Motivation Person tahun 2019. 
Capaian UNP berikutnya, juara satu penjaminan mutu tingkat nasional. Terbaik dua pelayanan melalui internet PTN BLU Satker se-Indonesia. Peringkat pertama, keterbukaan informasi publik tingkat Sumatera Barat. Pengelola aset terbaik di antara 720 Satker wilayah KPKNL Padang. Universitas Negeri Padang juga meraih penghargaan satu 